Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. It is an absolute beautiful day today. I think the high is supposed to be 79 or 80, which is just like paradise <laughs> for being above 100 degrees for like the past month. It's just absolutely fantastic. We are so excited because we feel like we're going to get so much stuff done and it already is happening. The painter is here and it is Saturday morning and the girls had a sleepover last night. They had one of their friends over and I offered to take her friend home and I thought, okay, well, I'll be home by the time the painter starts painting. It'll be fine. I'll get it on camera. Yeah, no, I completely missed it. That's okay. I mean, he still has to paint the trim and he still has to paint the door and all that kind of stuff. But look at how good it looks. I'm so excited about it. Even if I didn't get it on camera, I didn't get it on film. It just looks so good. I just, I'm just so happy. Let me turn the camera around. Look at that. Look at how much better it looks. For one thing, I think it makes the metal workshop look a lot better. Yes, we have a pile of compost in front of it. That is slowly getting taken care of and getting put in the raised beds, but I just think it looks so much better. And then my favorite view right now is that. Look at that. With the barn in the background. Oh, it just looks so pretty. So like I said, the trim is going to get painted the slate color, the same color as this trim. And then the door, this door right here will get painted clary sage, like a sage green color. So the painter said he thinks he'll be able to get that done today. He's at the paint store right now because he ran out of the white dove paint. You can kind of see where he stopped about right there. So that's the primer color uh, and that's the paint color. So Here's the primer back here. Can you see that? Yeah. So he still has a little bit more to do, but the big before and after I missed, which I'm kind of bummed about, but that's okay. So we're going to get a lot of stuff done today. Probably the main job that I want to at least get started today is getting these hose links out and installed. Finally, I have been waiting to get these guys installed. So I actually had a hose link in my last garden. I had it in my backyard and I loved it. It was so fantastic because I am notorious for leaving hoses out. Just just leave them out. I'll show you. I have a hose left out over there. Uh, so using the hose link and using the retractable system really made it so much easier just to put it away. And it really does work. It, it worked really well. It lives up to the hype. I know there's a lot of hype out there about hose link. I know Garden Answer talks about it a lot. Um, my friend Robbie, he loves it. He talks about it a lot. And But I really, really do like it. So hose link was very sweet and they sent me four, four of the 82 foot charcoal ones which i'm so excited to have so my fence is getting painted this the bear behr slate color which is the dark black color that i have on the trim over there so imagine how good the charcoal hose links are going to look in front of the bear slate fence oh, it's just going to be perfect so here's my old one that i brought from my old house now we were able to lift it up from the bracket we had the bracket screwed into the wall uh, our stucco wall we were able to lift it up but what our what our realtor told us is that if anything is screwed into the wall like a bracket or something like that technically you need to leave it that's the rule you need to leave it so we had to leave our hose link this hose link bracket there so i do have to purchase a new one um i haven't done that yet because honestly i didn't think about it until today so this one is not gonna get installed yet, but this one, because it's beige, let me show you where it's gonna go. That one is 82 feet as well, and it's gonna go right here on this wall. So it's, I think it's gonna look really good. I think the charcoal probably would look better right there, but I think it's gonna look fine. Um, so that one we will screw into the stucco wall right here, and then the other four we're gonna put around the property. And how we're gonna do it I think mostly we're going to put them on posts like these posts right here. We've already painted them the bare slate and we are going to dig holes and put them down into the hole. These are four feet tall. And so what the rule of thumb is, is that you want to bury them a quarter of the way down. So it's going to be a foot of them is going to be buried underground with the post cement, um, post concrete mix. And then they're going to be three feet tall. And then we'll just put the bracket, the hose link bracket right here here and then they'll be able to pivot pretty freely and hopefully we'll be able to cover everything. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to dig a hole 
And then we're gonna put a layer of gravel at the bottom, maybe like one or two inches of gravel at the bottom. And the reason for that is our soil here doesn't drain very well. It seems like it doesn't drain very well. And if it rains or if water from the hose gets down into the hole where the post is, I don't want the post sitting in water and rotting. So by having a couple inches of gravel at the bottom, that means that water is gonna go down through the gravel and it's going to be pulled away from the post. So hopefully that will help a little bit. It. And then we'll put the posts in and then we'll put the post concrete mix around it. Um, the po post, let me show you, post concrete mix is stuff that you can just purchase. You can just purchase a bag for like three bucks at uh, a big box store. This stuff, this fence post concrete mix. This is like three bucks a bag. And all you have to do is dig your hole, put your post in and then pour this in and then you can add water and mix it right in the hole. So it makes it really, really easy it should cure for like 24 hours, let dry for 24 hours. So we are not going to be able to actually install the hose links today on those posts because we want to let it cure. We want those posts to be nice and sturdy and strong uh, before we do that. So, so it's going to be a two-day project, but at least we can get the posts in today where we want to get them in. Um, and... The office should be finished getting painted, which I'm really excited about. The painter did want me to make clear to you all. <laughs> you can see, look at the roof. You can see that there's some overspray on the roof. He showed me before he started, actually like a week or two ago, that was there from the previous time the place was getting painted. When they painted the trim, they had gotten overspray on there. Uh, so he did not do that. He wanted me to point that out. Jason even asked me about it and I said, nope, he pointed it out. It was not there. I mean, it was already there uh so he he does a really really good job so once he gets back from the paint store that sh this should be done in like no time at all i think uh i think jason and i digging the holes and putting the posts in i think that will take a little bit longer Bye. Landscape fabric. A bunch of these bags way down. Oh my That's okay, that was out. So underneath the chicken manure bags, which they apparently used for landscape fabric, which I don't I don't think is the best thing. It's feed. Oh chicken feed. Oh that's what it is. Still, I don't think that's the best thing, right? Probably not the best thing for your soil. Probably not ideal. <laughs> and then we have pretty rocky soil in here. Some rocks have obviously been added in, but yeah, we got we got a lot of amending to do. Okay, doing the posts is actually not too bad. You know, I think the hardest thing is getting getting our shovels through the soil just because the soil is so compacted. But the one over there in the orchard, I actually pre-soaked and it made such a difference. So I have to do that. I wanna show you all where the painter's at. He's so fast. I'm annoyed with Andrew because he keeps painting too fast. Right, Andrew? <laughs> I keep telling him, let me get him on camera. And he's just too fast. <laughs> But you promise to wait for me when you paint the door, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.
So Andrew just got finished painting the door, the Clary Sage, and we have decided it's too gray, right? It's too gray. It's not quite, like this would be the right color if you were gonna paint a house sage green, but I think with the door we needed to go brighter. So I just ran to the big box store really fast, got a little bit brighter green. I think it's called Rejuvenation by Bear. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my camera hooked up. All right, take two. Beautiful. That's more what I was going for. Yeah. That's when you said green, this is like a sage green when you said that's what's gonna come right here. Me too. Yeah, well, now that I see it. So while the painter's working, he's gonna come to the front door and paint the front door that beautiful green color. Jason and I are working on the hose link still. So it is the next day from when we we uh, put the posts in the ground. We put two posts in the ground and the other two charcoal hose links were actually gonna attach to the wall. So we messed up a little bit here. This is, this is kind of by our front door. We messed up a little bit here. We had originally thought there was a stud right here, but there ended up not being a stud. So we had to move it over a little bit because what we wanna do is I'm gonna be pulling this out so far and I'm probably gonna be pulling it hard. It's an 82 foot hose link. Um, so we wanna make sure that it's attached to a stud in the wall here. So the right two bolts right here are attached to a stud. Uh, we, we drilled into a stud over there and then the left two actually aren't. Um, so what we're doing is we're usually, we're using toggle bolts. Where are they? Here they are. We're using these toggle bolts right here, right? So this actually goes into the wall. You push it into the wall, and then once you push it in, you push it into the wall. Once you push it in, it pops open, and then that's gonna support it a little bit. Now, I don't think these would support the whole hose link if you didn't have it on studs, so we definitely needed to do studs. The other way that you could do this if you were putting this on a stucco wall is that you could find two studs and you can put a piece of board across them so that they're screwed into the studs. That's what I did at our old house. So the board is screwed into the studs and then you just hook the hose link on the board. That's another way to do it as well. But we knew there was studs here over on the side. So we are working on that and the painter should be making his way over very soon. Yeah, that's perfect. It looks good with the black around it. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that. That looks awesome. All right, there it is. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It looks so good. This is a perfect example that you got to listen to the professionals because I picked out that Clary Sage color and Andrew the painter, he, you know, he, he checked with me like four times. Like, is that the right color? Are you sure that's the right color? He asked me like four times. So then he painted it and he looked at me and he's like, is this the right color? And finally I had to admit, no, it was too gray. It wasn't bright enough that I was looking for. Um, and so he was sweet and just waited here until I ran to Home Depot and got got the right color. That's more what I was looking for, a color like that. Doesn't this look so good with the barn in the background? Oh, it's beautiful. Love it. The new color, the old color I picked out was Clary, Clary Sage, which I still think is an absolute beautiful color. And if I was going to paint a wall, an interior wall sage green, I would have chosen that Clary Sage because it was perfect. Um, this is Rejuvenation by Bear. So it's just, it's the same kind of tone, same, um, same sagey green, but this one's just a lot brighter, which is what I think you need on a door. You just, you need it to pop a little bit. Just pretend like you don't see our first mistake right there. <laughs> so the reason why we made the mistake is um, it's really hard to use a stud finder. It's actually pretty much impossible to use a stud finder on the type of stucco we have because the type of stucco we have is metal backed 
Um, so this stud finder, it just, it just doesn't work. So we were just having a really tough time. So we called my dad and asked him for advice. And he told us just to go to the corner because that's a pretty much a guarantee that you're going to find a stud there. So pretty good, right? Pretty good. It's going to work. Okay. Done with this one. Well, almost done. Test it out. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> <laughs> Success. Andrew made a friend. Look at the baby. He's so cute. You gonna take him home to your daughter? Yeah. <laughs> you should. He's so cute. Who would have thought this would have been the easiest way to do it? <laughs> in in cinder block. All right, we've got two more to go. They're going on the posts. We're getting things done today. Can you all see that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can catch it on camera. On certain days, he's right there. Ah, right there. We live very close to a uh, what skydiving operation. Can you see them there? <laughs> And so it's so funny. The plane will take them up and they'll drop all these people off. And then we can see that we can hear them go, Whoa! <laughs> and they drop off like five people at a time. It's the funniest thing. Can you see it right there? Oh, I wonder if I can zoom in. <laughs> so, if in the back of my videos you ever hear someone going, Whoa! Whoa! That's what it is. There's more. Wait, where'd they go? Right there. There's another one. It's just too funny. Oh, there's another one. Man, there's like eight of them. Anyway, they're having fun. They're having fun and we're working hard over here. Well, I should say Jason's working. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah. You've been stretching? Yep. <laughs> okay, so we are drilling into the posts that we set in the ground yesterday. You all saw that earlier in the video. So they've been in for 24 hours or they're, they're dry and then they, it takes 28 days to cure. But because it's dry, we can hang this up now. Um, this is going to be... You know, the putting it in the center blocks was super easy. I feel like this is going to be even easier after we got the post in. Yes, we are going to paint this, but we painted them before they were cut. And so it got cut off and these are pressure treated just to further prevent from mold. We put gravel at the, at the bottom of the hole so that it wouldn't um, rot. It would keep the water away from it. And then the pressure treated, it was pressure treated on the top. It was pressure treated on the top of the piece on the other side so we flipped it around and did it that way so we just needed to come out here next time we have the slate paint can open we will just paint both of the posts that we were going to put up so very easy we just took the bracket 
right here. Put it on the four by four post, marked where we needed to drill pilot holes, drilled pilot holes, and now we're just gonna drill the, the regular screws in. I love it. I want to see if this one will make it all the way across the island. What's your bet? Uh, Do you think we can make it? I think, I think, island? I think close. I don't know. Did you make it? Right up there. Wow. All right. How much further? <laughs> okay, well, we're covered. Well. Upon our island, we're covered. Okay. Ready? Hang on. Ready? Yep. Okay, last one, last one out of four. We still have the beige one that I need to get the bracket for, but I will be purchasing that soon. Yes, Jason has done most of the work. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> oh, let me show you this though. So let me show you the before of what used to be here and now after. So we leveled this and we spread out all the raised bed soil. Um, I'm happy that it's gone. So my plan is, is to start planting in this area. However, the propane tank might end up going back here. And I say might because we don't know. <laughs> so the propane tank, that big massive thing right there, the people who are the, the gas company that was, um, like filling it and managing it and, and, you know, taking care of it. They do have an office right up the road from here, but they don't have anyone to staff that for like repairs and stuff like that. So the person who staffs the propane tank lives two hours away. So he's like barely ever out here. I think he comes out here once every other month. Um, so we're having a really, really hard time getting that propane company to come here. So we were thinking about trying another propane company and Jason called them and scheduled an appointment and took some time off work and they never showed up. So yeah, we don't know if we want to use them either. So we know we are either going to move the propane tank to that corner over there or this corner over there and we're not totally sure yet but i do have to leave both both corners open just just in case whenever we get them out here whether it's the same company that we're using now we have to wait basically two months or that other prop propane company finally responds to us and shows up for appointments when they make appointments which we're not totally happy about anyway so back to the hose link very easy, really a one person job. I don't have to do anything. So while Jason is finishing, I will sit here in the shade next to my dead raspberries and talk to you all. So as soon as we knew we were getting this house and this property, I actually contacted Hoselink because I had the Hoselink in my old property in my backyard and I loved it. And I could just imagine how many hoses I would need and how much of a reach those hoses would need to have in this new property. So I contacted them and asked them if they'd be willing to work with me and they said yes, which was amazing. So fantastic. So now I'm technically a hose link affiliate. I do have an affiliate link and I will put it in the description down below. So if any of you are interested in purchasing a hose link, please click on that link. That will take you to the hose link website. And throughout the whole month of September, this is September, 2023. For those of you who are watching in the future, hose link has a September sale of 10% off everything except for solar lights. I think that's the only thing that they don't have the 10% sale on. So anyway, 
It's very exciting. They did provide me with these four hose links. I just want to let you all know it, know that. But the first one I purchased myself and I think I'm going to purchase maybe two more or something like that. So it's a really, really good product. Um, you know, I only want to show things on this channel that I actually like, like Proven Winners Plants. I love Proven Winners Plants. And Hose Link is, you know, is one of them as well. And of course, I would tell you all if there was something I didn't like, you know, guys remember the bench in my backyard oh so anyway that's that I think Jason's about done let me show you all a, an after of the four hose links and then also the doors R.I.P. raspberries R.I.P. okay show off Jason show off for all of us let's see Woohoo! we have water so that one will reach Robbie the Willow. Actually, that one will reach Robbie the Willow too. It's hard to say Robbie the Willow. <laughs> Robbie the Willow. <laughs> yeah, we could cover everything. We could cover everything. Yay! Okay, time to start planting. Now it's time to start planting. I've got drip irrigation and I've got hoses, so time to go. All right, so here is hose link number one. Charcoal 82 foot. I love it. it this one is mounted on a four by four post that we put into the ground using post cement. Very easy. Piece of cake, couple inches of gravel on the bottom to help with rot, you know, help keep the water away from the post. Uh, and the post is trash pressure treated. <laughs> so this is number one. Okay, we've got number two over here in the long border. You can see the houses over there. There's number two. I have a feeling this tree is coming out. Um, I have somebody coming to talk to me about the, about the fruit trees that are here. So I'd like to say, see what he thinks about this one. Um, and that is kind of why we put this one off to the left, because I knew I was going to be coming out this way towards the island. So I didn't want to be directly behind the tree. So there's that one. Okay, then there's number three over here up by the house. This one is mounted directly to the house, two studs. Well, two of these are two studs. Two of these right here are two studs. The other two, we used those brackets, those mounting brackets. So I'm happy about that. I think I'm gonna get one more, two more actually. One of the ones I'm gonna get, I do want to put right over here at this hose right there because just to remind you all over here on the north side of my house i am making this my secret shade garden and i'm going to do living walls that kind of start here and kind of go all the way over there and there's going to be an arch right there so it's going to be really hard to get an, a hose into the arch so i think having a hose inside the secret shade garden is going to be really important because this one again the living wall is going to go here right there with the arch and this will be outside of the living wall so having one back here i think will be really helpful and while i'm up here i will show you all the front door doesn't that look good now i need to do black trim around all the windows i'll have a contractor come i don't want to mess with the mitering of the angles or anything like that so i'll have him come and put some black trim everywhere but Whew, I like it. It makes me feel good because I feel like I'm putting my own spin on this house and it's just making me like every day I'm liking it more and more. So let me show you the last hose link we got that's in the backyard. All right, and last one is over here. This one we mounted higher up. This is higher, this is higher than even hose link says to mount it, but I wanted it high up because I know I'm going to have some couches there and I wanted it to go over the couches, right? So... I think that that's a perfect spot for it. I'm happy with it. It blends in with my trim. And yes, look at my office. <laughs> look at how good that looks. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy with it. Look at that. Look at that view. Oh, I just love it. I love it so much. It's so good. Literally, literally every day, I'm liking everything better and better. Okay, that's gonna be it for today's video. I am so happy to have these guys in. This is gonna be life-changing. I have so many plants <laughs> that need to be watered, so this is gonna make it that much easier. A huge thank you to Hoselink for working with me, and you guys remember, I have my link in the description down below. Go ahead and click on that and check out the September sale. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today.